Hello, 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 you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am in a very exciting mood today because we have another little segment of aesthetic DIY decor, which is such a fun one for me to actually recreate because I am an avid social media user. I love scrolling through TikTok. I love scrolling through Instagram and YouTube, checking out DIY projects and getting inspired. And I have a couple of really incredible projects to share with you guys, but I have to mention today's sponsor because this has been such a full circle moment for me, you guys. Like today's video is sponsored by Cricut, and I know never ever thought I would say that I have a, a video sponsored by Cricut because in the past I was actually a scrapbooker. I had a scrapbooking channel for five years and I avidly used my Cricut expression machine for years, you guys. I had a Cricut expression. I actually had two of them and I also had a Cricut cake machine. And so I always use my Cricut. I use the cartridge and I can tell you guys right now that the advancements that Cricut has made to their brand is incredible. Like the stuff that you can do with the Cricut maker machine, which is what I'm going to be using today, is unreal. Like it is crazy how technology has advanced and how they've really upped their products. I also don't know if you guys have noticed, but on TikTok, Cricut is such a trend and a craze. So I figured this would kind of go hand in hand with the aesthetic and viral projects because I see so many incredible viral TikTok projects using a Cricut machine. And I thought I would go ahead and create some of those here for you guys today and share with you how simple it is to create customized pieces using a Cricut. But enough of me rambling, let's jump on into the projects. Lately, I have been in love with these mirrors that have different quotes and phrases on them. Typically, they're positive affirmations, which I just love. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and create my own. So I opened up the Cricut Design Studio on my computer and I searched for clouds within their image section. The great thing about Cricut Design Studio is there are so many different images that you can cut out. So I went ahead and I selected a whole bunch of different cloud shapes and I am going to be using a 12 inch by 12 inch mat. So I just made sure that all of my clouds kind of fit within that section. And I started kind of organizing them across the board and adjusting the sizes because I want a variety of different sizes of clouds. I also wanted, of course, to add that little affirmation. So I wrote hello gorgeous on there and I used my circular font, which I use for almost everything, resized it and just filled in the rest of my sheet with some clouds. Since I'm going to be putting down a whole piece of vinyl anyways, I might as well use it up. Once it is fully completed and all your clouds are down, go over all of them as shown here, right click and then click weld. That's just going to ensure that the image cuts as shown. And then we're going to grab our material. So I'm going to be using premium vinyl textured material for this project, but the great thing about the Cricut Maker is that it honestly cuts so many materials. It actually cuts over 300 materials from delicate pieces like crepe paper and fabric to more thicker materials like matte board, leather, and basswood, which is incredible. I'm, for this project, going to be using this really pretty metallic gold textured vinyl, though, because I thought it would look really nice over the top of the silver kind of reflective mirror. So I'm loading that into my machine, filling up the entire mat, and pressing go on it. This is going to start the process of cutting. So of course, we're going to be cutting out all of our different cloud shapes along with the hello gorgeous phrase and also just little side note the ease of use on this machine is insane you guys it was so so simple and easy to use i had it up and running within 10 minutes and the cricut design space as well is such an easy application it is so simple it's like drag and drop and everything is basically done for you so once that's done cutting all of our material we're going to go ahead and start removing anything that we don't need so i'm going to go ahead and remove all of that excess material on there to reveal our actual cuts here so we're going to basically be turning these into stickers in a sense so I'm going to be using a little bit of transfer tape and I'm going to be applying that on top, making sure that it's covering absolutely every single cut that we created. And I'm using a little spatula tool just to kind of burnish it down on top to ensure once we pull it off, it is stuck to the transfer paper. So as you can see here, I'm going through using these scissors and I'm just gonna go around and cut all of these out just so I have individual clouds to work with. This will just allow you to visualize where they could go prior to having to stick them down. So the first thing I'm starting off with is the Hello Gorgeous phrase. And you're just going to make sure to really press that down on the transfer tape, remove the under layer, and then press it on top of your surface using the spatula once again to transfer the vinyl material onto your mirror. So once that's transferred down, we're going to go ahead and start applying our clouds all the way around the outside. You can totally just skip the cloud portion if you want to and only do like a word phrase on your mirror if you'd like, but I wanted to go ahead and do it all around and make this piece more of a statement kind of selfie mirror, just something fun to take photos in and just something to give you a little positive affirmation for the day. So I went ahead and I applied all my clouds around the outside. You can do this with a blue material as well, which I think would be so pretty, like a sky blue if you'd like. And then once I was done with it, I went ahead and I folded over the excess vinyl from the edges. And if any of the sections were just too large to fold, I simply just cut it off and that finished off our little cloud affirmation mirror. The 
for this next project, I actually came across this TikTok a couple of weeks ago and I was obsessed with it and I just had to recreate it. So I started off by taking one of these Target plastic bowls and Target plastic cups. These cost 50 cents each. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and start gluing the bottom side of our cup to the bottom side of the bowl. We're essentially going to be creating a pedestal bowl and the shape of it is actually really nice. Next, she actually in her video used spray paint, but I couldn't find any spray paint that I wanted to use for this particular project. So I went in with my trusty ceramic paint that we all know and love. I used a little bit of vintage white mixed with some tan and then of course added in a little bit of baking soda to create that thick textured look. And I'm going to go ahead and give this three full coats of this paint just to give it a nice full coating. And the really great thing about the makeup of these actual pieces is that they're actually like kind of matte. So they have like a matte finish on them, which allows the paint to grip really, really nicely, which I love. So I went ahead, I applied on one coat of this paint all the way around, making sure to hit every single crack and crevice. I wish I was able to find the white bowl and cup like she used in her video, just because it probably would have covered a bit easier. However, I couldn't. I just went ahead and got this black and gray set. But again, you guys, these materials for this project only costed $1 plus the paint, which a lot of us already have paint on hand. So in the end, this project ended up costing me, I would say roughly around $2 to create. And I just love the way that it turned out. I went ahead and I applied a second coat on there just to get even more texture. And once it was complete, I styled it like this. Our third project was inspired by my good friend Jen from Generation DIY and she actually created these super cute glass mugs for drinking water but I was like why don't I create these for my tea and coffee because I already had the glass mugs on hand and I just loved her idea so much and I had no idea this vinyl was washable but it totally is you guys so I went into my Cricut Design Studio and create three different text boxes the first one's going to say but the second one's going to say first and the third one is going to say coffee or tea or it could be water it could be a Moscow mule it could be whatever Ever your heart desires. So once I had those phrases designed in the Cricut Design Studio, I cut out my material of choice, which is again, that gold vinyl because she used this on her project and I just love the way that the gold looked on the clear. I am now going in with my picker tool and I'm gonna go ahead and just pick out all of the insides of those letters and remove our excess vinyl material. We're just gonna want our letters and our words on there because we're gonna be creating essentially two large stickers. So pressing down my transfer tape and cutting them apart from each other. Once you have that done, you can grab your glass mug. I got this one on Amazon if you guys are curious and I'm just going to burnish down the vinyl to the top of the transfer tape. That way when we pull it off, the actual vinyl letters transfer, then we can put it on to our actual material that we're going to want to use, which is our glass mug. And then we're going to use our spatula once again to firmly press down our vinyl and ensure that it's nicely transferred from the tape now onto the glass mug. So once you have that pressed down, you can go ahead and remove the transfer tape and your vinyl should be transferred onto your mug. And I just think this is such a cute mug. I am so excited to add this to my collection. And of course I had to make one for tea as well because I am an avid nighttime or like sleepy tea drinker. So I thought this would be such a fun one. And you guys do not worry, the heat from the inside of the mug does not make the vinyl come off at all. I've already used these and I love them. And for our last project, I swear to you guys, I come across at least 10 people making clothing pieces using the Easy Press machine and their Cricut Maker. So I wanted to go ahead and try to create my own piece of clothing. So I actually went on to Etsy and I found an SVG file by this store here, which I will link below for you guys. I thought it was super cute. You can actually upload your very own designs in the Cricut Design Studio. So I went ahead, I uploaded the SVG file. That is the proper file you use when cutting on a Cricut machine. So I went ahead, I placed that in and sized it. And next I chose this this royal blue iron-on transfer. Um, this is meant for ironing on. And once I had my process all set, you're gonna wanna ensure that you click the mirror toggle right here. Just ensure that you click that on because iron-on transfers are actually kind of reversed in the process of creating them. So you're going to cut this out on your iron-on transfer sheet. And once that's fully cut out, I'm going to remove that and we're going to then remove all of the excess material that we do not wanna be transferred on to our t-shirt. So the plastic underside is our new transfer tape. And then this kind of like matte, almost
almost iron on blue material is going to be what's going to be transferred onto the actual shirt itself. So the cuts are so freaking clean on this machine, you guys. Like it was absolutely crazy how easy this was to just kind of pick out all the little sections. It was actually very satisfying. Like I could do this for hours. Then we go to our easy press. Now, if you go online and you Google Cricut heat guide, they actually have a guide that shows you everything you need to do for your easy press machine. So I just showed that I'm using an express iron on and I'm also going to be using a cotton t-shirt. So it shows me that I need to be using my easy press machine at 300 degrees for 15 seconds. So I went ahead, I prepped my shirt to start place down my iron on vinyl, making sure that the uh, vinyl side was towards the shirt as shown here, placed my easy press on top, clicked the button to start the timer and then press it down for 15 seconds. Once that was done, I flipped it over to the back side and did 15 more seconds. And that's all there is to it. I created this shirt in probably 10 minutes maximum and it is so cute you guys i just love the way that it ended up turning out it's super soft as well and i also wanted to go in and create one more with a tiny little lone fox logo just to show you how great this machine actually cuts so i was able to create a tiny little three inch wide lone fox logo peeled that off and it looks incredible literally wearing my shirt right now that I created because it is so cute. I just loved working on these projects, you guys. It was so much fun. Such a full circle moment being able to work with a Cricut again. Like I just remember having a Cricut so long ago and loving it and using the cartridges. And now that I'm able to use like custom artwork and custom images and really customize absolutely everything, including so many materials that you can work with. It is just such a universal cutting machine. And I highly suggest if you're in the market for a cutting machine or you kind of want to maybe start your own business, it's a great way to start off is by getting yourself a Cricut. So I'm going to go ahead and link them below for you guys. If you guys want any more information, go ahead and check that link in the description box. And I hope that you enjoyed these projects. I did also throw in that little pedestal bowl because it has been in the back of my mind for probably a couple of weeks now. I've had it saved and I've gone back to it every now and then just seeing how many more views it was getting. Like this project really, really blew up on TikTok and I thought I just wanted to recreate it here for you guys. And it only cost me like $2 to create and it was such a cute outcome. Now give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and also do not forget to leave a comment below letting me know which project was your favorite now the lighting's kind of fluctuating in here because los angeles i don't know what's happening with today's weather but it is sunny one minute then it's pouring rain the next then it's sunny again then it's cloudy then it's sunny i don't even know what is occurring then it's thundering like what anyways i will let you guys all go have an amazing rest of your day do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already i post brand new home decor and diy content every single week and i will catch you guys in my next one bye